welcome to Six Little Lambs. Today we are going shopping. Woo! We are just waiting for Dad to finish work. It is almost 5 p.m. But our local shopping centre doesn't shut until 6, 7 ish. Well, we still have the Parland BM and Home and Bargain. For anybody who is new to our channel, we have been shielding since March, and this is the first time we will have physically been into the shops. So I am really excited because I've been watching everybody's YouTube uploads and Facebook posts of all the range that is in Pal and B&M and Home and Bargain, so I'm excited to get my hands on a few of them. I'm going to try and record as much as I can while I am out in case there is anybody who is in the same situation as what we've been in or are still in the same situation as what we have been in and still not getting out and enjoys these types of videos so i'll see what i can try and get i might even just have to get a bit of footage with no words in it maybe we'll see anyway we are going to leave soon so i guess i'll see you when i get there In Parland, we are now heading to one below. Where are you going to be in a basket today? Because I forgot to get one. So, in one below. Tell you what, these masks are really hard to breathe, aren't they? Like I've only got one more shop to go in the audio. Bye. Bye. You never go shopping with a woman. Bye. 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 Bright LED flexible body used to read in the dark. Hold your phone. Hello, Bob. What? Hello. Sit on the man. Gotta get him over. Hold him. Bring the phone holder. He bends on the light on to read. Hold your phone. Hold your phone. Sit with you. Hold your phone. 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 So you forget a basket, you want a basket? Improvise. <laughs> I didn't need one anyway. Fine. <laughs> Pick it up with a basket.
Heading down to B and M. I don't know what I've even recorded so far. Probably nothing. Probably nothing worth anybody watching because our little shops were rubbish for the Halloween stuff compared to everybody else's. Christmas range in B and M. I'm pretty flustered. We have just arrived home. I've just finally took the mask off. As you can see, I'm really hot. Um, I'm going to quickly show you everything I bought before I put it all away. Yeah. So we've got this basket, which was obviously a pound. Um, the one below has any and for pounds and under. Um, this is for inside of my uh, kitchen cupboards. It's called a flexi basket with handles. I just put like pan lids and things like that inside of these. I also got some of these peg areas. You put like underwear and socks on them. I got two of those since the winter is approaching. I hate using my dryer and it'd just be more convenient than having underwear and things all over the radiators. We got two of these light bulbs and um, they were a pound each and these are actually really good they're like um I was about to say led because they are led and um, but they're really good they last a long time especially for the pound i got some of these air pure incredibles which are just like a mimic of the lenore scent boosts and um, i've had these before in a pink one i can't remember the scent and they were really good, so this, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Make the clothes smell lovely for when they go in the dryer. Some Vicks, because if you've seen our previous videos, we have all had a cold recently, and Dad is still suffering with his chest in the night times. The girls needed some new face masks, and now that they are not mandatory for under 10 years of age, but we are going on the train tomorrow, so they did need some of these to go onto the train. I mean, I know that they don't have to, but I'd like them to wear them just while we're on the train because it's a confined space and any other confined spaces. They were £1 each, and I think it's a nice little pretty pattern. 
And yeah. here for Halloween, we are not actually dressing up like we usually would. We usually pick a really good outfit and have a really good um, party and go trick or treating. But we are not doing this this year. We are just having a quiet one. So we thought we'd let the girls pick some little bits and pieces up from like pound shop and things like that and do themselves up for the day. They both picked these tutus up for one pound each and they will go over a pair of leggings with a little black top and i'll show you what else they got to go with it and i picked up this to put some water in when i'm doing the girls hair to just help me style it easier so that is all from the one below from Poundland, we got some duct tape which was a pound three packets of ibuprofen for one pound i suppose it, as the winter's approaching you should really stock up on things like this um, we got some carpet sofa foam. This is actually really good. When we had carpets a couple of weeks ago, we were using this all the time to lift stains, and it was really good. I am planning on cleaning my rug with it and a carpet cleaner. I got a safe. This was also a pound. If, uh, do you know what? I'll just say if it wasn't a pound, because I think everything that I did pick up was a pound this week. 50 packets of bobbles because as you'll probably seen by my video i've got a bright red bobble in my hair because we can never find none but i got these for the girls got some alberto balsam shampoo coconut and lychee is that right uh let's see what that says 12 hours fragrance um also got the conditioner in the same brand and scent and they also had this two litre bottle of lilt and i really enjoy a drink of lilt i think that's a bargain for one pound these are the little accessories that the girls picked Ooh. they both picked a little cat mask and over the coming weeks they'll pick other little accessories up to go with those too until Halloween, just to dress up fun inside of the house. They were a pound. As you will have probably seen by the clips I've added in already, there wasn't a great selection of things in our little pound land. And we got a six packet of toilet rolls, two ply silk soft toilet rolls. And in B&M, where I didn't really record much at all, we got a cut little tray because we were in need of it. Some wood silk. My cousin said that she's used this on a coffee table and it was really good. I mean, I don't imagine that this is going to come up good at all. The kids use it to do their work on because we home educate and it just gets ruined. But I thought, instead of varnishing it and sanding it right now while they're still only little and they're just going to keep ruining it, I'll try some of this to try and give it a nicer look. So that was oh that was actually one pound twenty nine and the tray was two ninety nine and then I picked these up for the boys um I weren't sure if the kids actual face masks that we got the girls would fit them so we picked these up for them it's a ten packet and I think they were two pounds for for these ten in B and M and then we've wanted to put one of these away these were two for £3.50 I think and it's a 2.25 litre bottle oh no two two bottles for £4 they are which is a bargain what else I actually forgot to add into the haul was we got this pedigree jumbo bone that was £1.9 well it was two in a packet but Max already ate one before I did my haul in B&M um, and these were from one below, these were 49 or 59 pence each. Honey and lemon menthol and black currant menthol. We actually had a pack of these from Tesco the other day and they were brilliant. If you enjoyed this video today, please give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Click the notification bell. We upload new videos every Thursday with bonus uploads during the week. See you again soon. Bye.